Alright, uh, leek potato and cheese puff pie. Uh, first of all you're going to need something to uh, bake your pie in. So I'm using a, a fairly deep dish because I want to get plenty of um, filling in this one. Um, you're going to need a couple of potatoes, you're going to need about the same weight in leeks. And I'm lazy so I'm buying my puff pastry in sheets all ready to go. You can make your own if you want to. And for the base, the puff pastry goes on top, and for the base underneath, I want just ordinary short crust pastry. Um, you're also going to need some uh, cheese. I use mature cheddar cheese. Um, this is English cheddar, and it's already grated for me because I'm lazy. So first off, we need to cook the uh, potatoes and we need to cook the leeks off uh, just to get them into a state where they're actually a pie filling and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my steamer I'm going to put the potatoes in the bottom and the leeks in the top to steam as the potatoes cook and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm prepped up All right, that's all prepped up. Um, now I just need to get some salt into there and some water. So we're going to put cheese in this, so you don't need to over salt it. So you just need just about, let's say, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt, and then top it up with water. I always put the hot water in, so it's the boiling on the stove. All right, I'll get back to you once all that's steamed up. Right, if you want to know how to chop up leeks, I've done a video at it uh, down below somewhere, just look in my uh, channel. Right, first of all I want to oil the pie dish. This is actually a frying pan, I've take, I like the depth of it. It's a small frying pan and I've just taken the handle off so, it can, uh, so I can easily use it for this purpose. And what I'll do is I go make sure all the surfaces of it are brushed with oil and then I take my um, short crust pastry sheet I'm one of those lazy cooks who thinks that life is too short to make your own pastry but by all means make your own if you're better at it than I am and if you make pastry then you are better at it than I am And as you see, I'm not very expert at handling this stuff. But press it right down into the pie dish. Patch up any holes. And make sure that it's all pressed nicely in. Ready to receive its filling. So, that's right in there now. I don't want to trim that off just yet. I'll trim that off uh, at the end once I've got all the filling in it. So there we are, we're just waiting for everything to cook and I'll get back to you. Alright, a little background on this. Um, I used to live on a farm in Suffolk and uh, one of the people who used to livery a horse at the farm was this lovely lady, Helen Atkinson Wood. Now Helen Atkinson Wood is famous for playing Mrs Miggins in Blackadder III and this is the crew here and she judged a pie competition uh, which I won with this pie and there you are on the back that's Helen offering her congratulations along with a picture so I made pies for Mrs Miggins <laughs> there we go the other luminaries in this picture, of course, is the star of, of the show himself, um, uh, Rowan Atkinson. There's Tony Robinson, who played Baldrick, and uh, the prince uh, was played by someone you may recognise from House on television, Hugh Laurie. Right, there you are. The potatoes are all, all mashed and the, the leeks are steamed. And I'm just going to mash up the spuds. Let's mash them up fairly roughly, don't need to get too, don't add anything to this at the present time because there's going to be cheese and there's going to be 
leeks going into there. So now I'm going to add the leeks. The leeks go straight out the steamer, of course, into the mix. It may seem like a lot of mix, but I'll show you for why in a moment. Get all that in and get that mixed in well. So mix that in well. And it's at this stage that you add the cheese. I'm adding about a generous cup of grated English cheddar cheese to that. And this is why we don't add too much salt, is because cheese in itself is rather salty and that forms the basis of your pie filling. Now mix in rather well, make sure you add, it's a good generous cup of cheese. That's your cheese added, stir it in. And there you are, voila, you got yourself a pie filling. Right, the next thing we do is fill up the pie. All right, we get the pie filling into the pie. This cheese is starting to string already, look, awesome. And as you see, it makes a nice domey mound on the top of the pie. And you'll see what we're going to do with that in a minute. Because that is one hell of a nice pie. There we go, let's get all that in. Don't be afraid of using your fingers, as long as you wash them. And um, next thing I'm going to do is show you how to do the pie lid. Right, there we are. This is the puff pastry now rolled out and there's, I've cut it off roughly square and I've got a bit left over but I'll show you what to do with that in a little bit, uh, a little bit of time. Um, and then the next thing I want to do is I want to make that lovely star shaped pattern that you saw in the thumbnail. All right. Now the way I do that is I make a cross in the center. I then go that way and then that way, that way and that way. And as you saw from the thumbnail that looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, just going to stop it for a while while I get my rolling pin. So we use a rolling pin to transfer it to the pie dish without breaking it. And to that end I do it this way and just so it doesn't stick. I put it on there. Then we get the pie across and I'm using a bit of egg wash here but you can use milk or just hot water if you want. Uh, to seal the edges of the pie and they go along the edge. I like using egg wash because it's nice and sticky and it makes a lovely shine on the outside of the pie as well and you'll see that in a minute. So and you're going to make sure that you get that centerpiece right in the center of the pie like that and then just roll that over Now, get that right in the middle, push that down on the edges, like that. Okie doke, and once it's on the top of the pie, make a couple of cuts just to make sure that that's right. Over there. And that it's going to form a nice shape. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the outside of the pie with a fork and I go around like this just so they overlap making sure to press down Now 
Once you've got it to that stage, what I do now is I, I lift the pie, just flick that back so it's all there, and then I, with the back of a knife, I just go round the, the edge, taking off the excess, like that. And then you end up with really nice pie top, like that. That now goes into the um, oven 200 degrees Celsius uh, or 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around about 30 to 35 minutes. Um, first of all though I'm going to put on the egg wash. Plenty of egg wash on the outside, this gives it a lovely, lovely appearance. Make sure you brush it all around the crust. You can of course, if you don't like eggs, you can always brush that with uh, milk. And there you are, that's ready to go in the oven. Right, that's baking away happily in the oven. Now I'm going to show you what I like to do with this. First of all, cut it in half. In half, in half again. In half again. Same with this one. And in half again. And then what we do is we brush that with a bit of egg, just like that. This is a bonus recipe, because waste not what not, as my granny always used to say. And onto that we're going to sprinkle a bit of salt. A bit of cracked blackjack. Transfer them to an oil baking sheet. Right, we transfer them to an oil baking sheet and then I give them a twist turn. Each one gets a little twist turn. Once you've done that, you can give them another little brush, a bit more egg, like that we want to make sure that the cheese sticks because on there that's what we're making we're making cheese sticks right on top of that just be as generous as you like with the cheese they're very thin so they need to go into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes well there's the cheese sticks fresh out the oven they only took about 10 minutes to bake to this uh, state and then all we need to do is let them cool down now and then separate them and serve them on a plate. Alright, here we are. Okay, I got the star slightly off centre but I think you know where I was trying to go with that. I think in retrospect I should have just put the pie lid on and then made the star cut once it was on. But there you go, we can't turn back time can we? But uh, I think you'll agree with me that's a rather spectacular result and very much like the one I won the pie competition with back uh, at the Stonehouse Farm, Jim Carner. There you go. This is a pie um, I like to cool down and eat cold. Um, it, it, it has a much better texture when it's cold and because of the elements in it, the leek, the potatoes and the cheese, it really really works well when it's cold. Uh, you can eat it hot but I, I, I think it's more of a picnic pie this one. Alright, potato, leek and cheese puff pastry pie. Enjoy!